What is going on y'all, CJ here and welcome back to more StarCraft. In this quick video, I want to break down the top armors in the game, in my personal opinion, to help you guys decide which armors you should be building. I do want to clarify this is my personal opinion, but it does go with hours and hours of testing. So if I happen to miss out an armor that you believe is one of the best armors in the game, let me know in the comment section below. For now, let's take a look. The Centurion, a veteran rank combat armor and one of the best PvP armors in the game. It does give you minus 15% stamina and minus 3% movement speed, but the positives heavily outweigh the negatives. It gives you plus 25 carry weight and the top of the line night vision goggles. For its properties, it gives you bullet resistance and melee protection of 171, explosion protection of 236, resistance to electricity, fire, and chemicals of 66.55, radiation protection of 200, thermal protection of 30, bioinfection protection of 180, psi emission protection at 160, and bleeding protection at 61%. Its modification properties give you bullet resistance and melee protection at 19.46, explosion protection at 26.89, and resistance to electricity, fire, and chemicals at 7.55. When it comes to the backpacks and containers you can carry, for backpacks you can only carry light backpacks, and for containers, compact and standards, so you have to build accordingly when it comes to your backpack or container. Overall, if you're trying to PvP, this is going to be one of the best armors for you. You can still use this armor for exploration, but I do not advise that you use this armor for exploration because it will make you use your container exclusively to give yourself more radiation resistance or bio protection or psi emission protection and you have other armors for that. This armor is a PvPers armor but you can use it however you want. As for me, this is my PvP armor and hands down one of the best looking armors in the game. The Saturn Suit, a veteran rank scientist outfit and one of the top scientist outfits out there. It gives you plus 6 carry weight and the top of the line night vision goggles. For its bullet resistance we have 70, melee protection at 79, explosion protection at 95, resistance to electricity, fire and chemicals at 859, radiation protection at 355, thermal protection at 355, bio-infection protection at 400, psi emission protection at 355, and bleeding protection at 43%. When it comes to the backpacks, you can only carry light backpacks, and when it comes to the containers, everything except bulky ones. Meaning, you're going to be able to pair this quite well with the bear's den, and you'll be all good to go. Overall, while there are other options that are easier to make, and give you a more relaxed experience by giving you 400 radiation, 400 bio, 400 psi, I still believe that this armor right here gives you some pretty good stuff, giving you that carry weight, giving you the night vision goggles, giving you a little bit more bullet resistance than some of the other outfits, and on top of that making it quite easy for you to get to that 400 mark with both rad and psi emission. Overall, this is one of the nicest armors in both looks and what it offers and it's going to allow you to get through the game a lot easier as you explore to get your mats. The SCAT 9M, a veteran rank explorer armor and this armor is truly the jack of all trades but a master of none. So let's talk about it. While wearing this armor you will have minus 6% stamina but plus 10% carry weight in the top of the line night vision goggles. For its bullet resistance we have 118, melee protection at 127, explosion protection at 171, resistance to electricity, fire and chemicals at 296, radiation protection of 200, Thermal protection of 120, bio infection protection of 210, psi emission protection of 170, and bleeding protection of 56%. When it comes to the backpacks, you can wear any backpacks and any containers. Yes, this armor is very, very chilled. This armor is for those players that want to be good everywhere, 
but don't really want to go down the route of making specific armor sets for specific scenarios like a scientist armor to explore or a combat armor to fight. This armor will be great in all aspects, but you will get outclassed by specific armors in specific situations. Nonetheless, this is one of the best and most comfortable armor sets in the game because you can wear any backpack, any container, and you still have very solid bullet res while still holding on to that nice radiation, that nice bio protection. Overall, very good armor set, and if you're trying to chill and explore the game, you might want to look into this armor as it will make your life a lot easier. But wait, there's more. So y'all don't say I don't like you, I'm gonna hit you with two more armors that I highly advise you get. Let's take a look. The first bonus armor we're gonna talk about is the Ghillie Suit. This is a newbie ranked combat armor and it's quite easy to make and you can make it very early into the game. When it comes to its stats, I'm not even gonna talk about that because they're not important. The main reason I want you guys to craft this armor is because of its movement speed buff and its carry weight buff. On top of that, it can carry any backpack in any container. So if you're trying to get from point A to point B while you're farming, this is honestly the best armor for movement speed. We all know we gotta move around a lot. I recently made this and it's made my life so much easier. It's easy to make, very early to make, so highly, highly advise you make it. And for our last bonus armor, we have the Exoskeleton. Now, this is the armor you get when you complete the story of the game. I did not call it the Seeker's Exoskeleton because you will be presented with an option to pick between two people, and depending on them, you will have a different version of the armor. Now, stats are the same, but it looks different. Nonetheless, the Exoskeleton is a free armor you get from beating the story and it is a veteran rank explorer armor, so keep that in mind. It does come with positives and negatives, its stamina is minus 15%, movement speed minus 3%, but it does come with carry weight of plus 30 and the second to last night vision goggles. For its properties, it's incredibly good for a free armor when you compare it to the likes of the SCAT 9. Bullet resistance at 135, melee protection at 141, explosion protection at 203, resistance to electricity, fire, and chemicals of 90, radiation protection of 200, thermal protection of 60, bio infection protection of 200, psi emission protection of 140, bleeding protection of 56%. And when it comes to the backpacks and containers, it can wear any backpack and only compact containers. Now, this armor you don't craft, all you gotta do is beat the last mission in the game in order to get it. So, you guys are getting the message, go out, beat the story, and get this armor. That way you have an explorer rank veteran armor as you make one of your others, the scientist or the combat, maybe you even want to make the scat 9, but honestly, I personally would leave the scat 9 for a little bit later because we do get this for absolutely free. Alright, and that pretty much wraps up this video. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, and do be sure to join our Discord. We have the best StarCraft community, but for now, that's pretty much it. I will see you on the next one.